because now it's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell everyone your AV. The Good first, idea. The I'm first not line of the YouTube uh, that's video. Your, that's your that will be the first line. line of the YouTube video. I hope You're this saying. isn't going in the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This this is this is what's gonna happen, right? Well now I promised before the game started that if there's anything you want removed from the YouTube video, that we can do it. <laughs> but all right. So now we can finally get started. Um you guys would all open your PDFs. <laughs> Um, we're going to Got be it. playing Tokyo <laughs> Brain Pop tonight. Tokyo Brain Pop is a game where you play Japanese schoolgirls in some Japan, and you're fighting a demon. Now, a demon can be a literal demon. Um, we'll decide what kind of demon it is. It could be like a kitsune, a trickster demon. It could be like some kind of shadow demon. Um, I've First time I tried to run this, we actually had to be a haunted house, and people fought the demon by exploring the haunted house. Um, and I've run it a few times for Mass Squad. We had evil Marty McFly and Dr. Brown, and then we had uh, evil Colonel Sanders as our demons. But it can also be things like uh, you're, you're trying to uh, take this really hard test or maybe like you have a tough social life, like maybe your parents are always working and that's what the demon is. Um, so the first thing I want to do is talk about the setting. Um, we can play in like modern day Japan. Uh, we can also have like options like going like futuristic Japan, we can play space Japan. Uh, we can play like- Space um, Japan. Alternate universe Japan, or we can play Pokemon. historical Japan. Any kind of Japan works as long as we're Japanese. Kanto. Schools. Kanto. I mean, so what do we want to play? Uh, I don't know. I actually, I'm open to whatever other people want to suggest. I don't know that much. I'm not very familiar with Japan or Japanese culture, so um, I always see the floor to anyone who is more uh, knowledgeable. But I like modern. I like Pokemon. <laughs> okay. I'm not big on Pokemon, just big for various reasons. But uh, I kind of like future because then we can do whatever, and it's the future. Okay, I'm cool with that. Space, year space Japan. <laughs> so how far in the future do we want to be? Uh, I don't know. A five minutes future where we just have <laughs> more tech, or is it like the super future where we're like um, riffing off of what's that uh, series? The guy that wrote Conan. Minority Report. No, the book series uh, <laughs> where like at the end of the universe and super powerful by Morka. But yeah, I don't know. Know. Sorry, no, never mind. Um, but like, we could do the Titans. Japan. Are yeah. we basically if like you know a little god children? We could, um, like star children in two thousand one, or are we oh, just still okay. people, I, but with I, lots I, of technology? I prefer uh, to just be people with lots of technology. Yeah, maybe like twenty oh. XDX, like the kind of. Robo cyborg future kind of thing. All right. uh, are you guys familiar with the Disney movie Xenon Girl of the 21st Century? No. 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 Fair enough. I, apparently, I should be. <laughs> so, what kind of school uh, is it? I would recommend that. Is it like uh, just a normal high school? Are you all trained to be mecha pilots? Like, what's the deal? No, no, no. Please, not Gundam, please. No Gundam? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's. Sorry, but regular high school. Regular high school. Okay, regular high school in the hundred years of the future. Okay. All right. So now we have our basic idea of the setting. Let's start making characters. Uh, let me get the character sheet. Where did I put 
this. There it is. All right, so character generation starts. So we're gonna make characters that are quite quickly because there's so many people and we could easily spend like four hours doing this. Uh, so let's not do that. Uh, characters are actually <laughs> pretty short. Uh, if you look at that website I posted earlier, like you can see like, if you just pick like five things and you pick five more things and you're done. Um, so we'll start with the name. Um, the names start on page seven of the book or page nine of the PDF. And you can just pick um, a first name and a last name. Uh, do we want to have the uh, family name be the last name or the personal name be the I last listed name? Mine, I, I listed mine family name first and personal name second. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, let's yeah. do it the proper way, family name, then personal name. And uh, once you guys all have your names, let me know, and we'll continue. Got it. Got, Got it. Everybody. Excellent. All right, next is blood type. So in a stereotypical Japan Japanese culture, uh, they believe that blood type has an effect on your personality. So here we're going to pick our blood type. Uh, there's four choices. You have type A personalities. Um, let's see here. We have type A, type B, type O, and type AB. So type A is like your, your leader personality. Type B is your um, goal-oriented personality. Type O is your social personality, and type AB is your klutzy personality. So those are the four personality choices you have. So like Hermione type would be type B. I'm definitely going AB. Being klutzy is great. All right, you'll be the klutzy. Uh -oh. <laughs> type O here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I I want to be the reliable type this time. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going A two. Nice. Multiple leader personalities. But I think that's everybody. Yeah. Um, go with type B. Next is determining Junishi. Uh, Junishi is like the Japanese horoscope, and this is like really long to read through. So I'm gonna ask that we just roll a D12 and determine this randomly. And if you really don't like it, sure. roll again. I have a favorite. Then pick your favorite. Um, yes. <laughs> Got a six. It's just way six. too long for me to read all these. So six is snake. June, the snake. And then uh, if you look under the month that you picked, there's a suggested trait. Uh, pick one of these. Oh, mine came with one. Okay. So I'm uh, using... Well, blood yeah. type also has a trait, so you can just select one for that. Oh, we'll do traits for the rest of the stuff later. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, so you want us to do the trait for our Junichi sign now? Um, actually, yeah, no, let's just oh skip God. that for now. Just, I am okay, definitely we'll a member of yeah. the robotics club. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. so once you guys all have your month, uh, write that down on your character sheet, too. And we'll come back to that. Um, next is the Godai. Uh, the Godai are the five like elements. Like um, In Western mythology, you know, we have fire, earth, water, air. Um, the Chinese added the fifth one, and the Japanese also have it. Uh, in this one, it's they're using a void instead of metal. Um, what the gold I are, these are your actual stats that you'll be rolling in the game. Um, so you're going to basically order them from one to five of how much you see this stat influencing your character. Um, in this game, instead of like having a stat for a skill, in this game, the stat is how you do it. So, um, Earth is like being really stubborn and confident. 
uh, being strong, physically nice. strong. Water is being flexible. Uh, and it's about being emotional. Um, fire is, you know, just being aggressive. Air is being intelligent. Uh, also, is like the idea of, you know, physical grace. Um, you know, just moving gracefully. And then avoid is the weird one. Um, it says it's for not physical things such as human communication and interaction. It resolves conflicts by communicating your ideas, talking and listening. Uh, you can use it to tell if someone's lying. It's basically like the other stats are about what, like how you do something. How do I say this? So we're we're gonna be listing them uh, one to five. Is which is is five best and one worst? Five is, is the best and one is the yep, worst. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Take your dice pool for that element. One, um, I think definitely have a one in Earth. <laughs> I was just say read, avoid, and try and make sense out of it. Like, oh, I'm, like yeah, I'm taking void uh, primarily. It's just the I'm also people. taking void primarily. Okay. Oh, I was. Uh, I am yeah. too. Oh because. no! Oh, avoid all the time. <laughs> the hardest stat to understand. We're all going to have a lot of excellent. But yep. it's just like it's just like the like space between people. It's the interactions between. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the Wu way. It's like yeah, it's the Buddhist bits. Yeah. yeah. I'm also going to be other something void and fire because fire is my lowest. I might. Um, want to try to be like a more daring role player today or something like that. Because you've seen me um, on Once Upon a Game and all that being all shy and whatnot, so I think I might try to step up and flub it <laughs> real hard. <laughs> wow, I'm a... So my highest stat is Earth and my second highest stat is Fire. So I'm going to be very stubborn. You are my opposite. You are my exact opposite. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is what um, this is what my random character generator got me. So I'm keeping uh, it. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm playing this to the end. Yeah, I flipped it. My void is horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need to assign water and air. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I'm set. Okay. So once everybody has that, let me know. Anybody still working on their I'm good. Go down. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Well let's move on to now being psychic. Um so being psychic in this game is a trade off. You can make the demon more powerful, but it makes you have a big bonus to your role. Um, you also can levitate, and you can make people's head explode. And those are the only three things you can do with psychic powers. Now, That's at least good. one person should be psychic, and one person must not be psychic. Those are the rules. So if you want to be uh, psychic... Yeah. I don't want to be psychic. You don't want to be I'm psychic. Gonna, I'm having. I have a very passive and like quiet, reserved character, so I'm going to be psychic, so that when she blows my brain up, everybody's gonna freak the heck out. Okay. Oh no, we have we have a carry here. <laughs> Please don't blow the school. Do we only have one psychic? Then? Oh no. Um, I I can I. I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence if I want to be psychic or not. Okay. I will be the second psychic, but not the third. If somebody else wants to be psychic, I will not be psychic. Okay. No, I'm not going to be psychic. Okay. So I guess uh, Kelsa and 
pistachio will be our psychics. Uh, being cool. psychic has two effects besides um, the psychic powers. It means you can't be the most popular. Yeah. And it means that your agendas are higher priority for resolving because their demon is more powerful until they are completed. So it's kind of gotcha. a good thing and it's kind of a bad thing. Okay. So now we know psychics. Uh, let me just double check, make sure that's the end of this. Now we choose traits. Okay. So um, so we choose traits based on blood type, Junishi, and the Godai. So look at your blood type. Uh, there's a list of traits that goes with that. Just pick one of those. And let so me you know get all three of those that. traits? Yes, you get many traits. Yeah. We'll just do them one at a time. Okay. The first pick I have a question. Yes. Um, if we can come up with um, an, a different trait quickly, can we write that one in, or do you just want to be like, no, let's get this done in 30 minutes, just pick one? Yeah, you can write it down. Uh, okay, so sure. Type it to me in Skype just so I look at it, and it is reasonable. Sure. It, um, yeah, if I do that, then I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, just make sure it fits thematically with that or whatever you're assigning it to. Right. Exactly, yeah. So I played what, this game before. I, I did that last time. What too. traits are is they allow you to stage up your dice size. So they're quite good uh, whenever you're doing something that fits the trait. Do we decide on what our demon is? Because I feel like my traits, I should select traits based on what I know we're confronting. I would like to uh, do our demon first. We can do that. I don't know. Is that is that how it's supposed to go? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's let's do the demon first because that's an interesting topic. Uh, what are you guys thinking about the demon? Like we're in the future. What do we want to fight? Do we find uh, fight something literal, like evil creature. Is it like an organization that wants to control Japan? Is it like something very personal to you guys? Oh my God. I spent how long we we want to play this? I'm thinking it's because uh, we have to first fight prize the organization. At a first prize at a bake sale. Fashion show. <laughs> uh, I want to do something like really small, but that's just me. Okay. Yeah, we can do like a fashion show or a bake sale. Um, or like, I was thinking like the classic like, one of the is to acid rain or something like that, but we can do whatever. You know how flexible I am. Oh, if we want to do something like actually existential threat, yeah. Uh, incoming meteor. Oh, uh -huh. ooh, I like that actually. I'm cool with that. Sure. Yeah, that so sounds we're, good. We're playing. We're playing uh, Tokyo Brain Pop Armageddon Edition. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, so course, the demon is course, the science uh, class threat class of the approaching meteor. Um, do we want the meteor to be separate, like Lavos and Chrono Trigger? I don't or know what just, that means. Uh, you've never played Chrono Trigger? No. <sighs> Eric, you have something to do after this game. <laughs> I don't actually play that many games, believe it or not. <laughs> this is like <laughs> I only play one point games. You absolutely must play. It is a, okay. it's a JRPG. Right. I I I get like uh, in trouble all of the time for only having played Chrono Cross and never played Chrono Trigger, and apparently that makes me a horrible human being. And yep. um, I accept <laughs> this. <laughs> I mean, especially if you know that you need to, and yet you're, you, know, you know that you're a human, horrible human being. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so... But, yeah, is it like, is it just a rock, or does it have some kind of sentience? It would be uh, nice if, if it was like a, like a living creature that's psychically attacking the Earth even before it comes to it. It's a monolith. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Okay, cool. So it has some kind of will. 
malevolent force. All right. Then, yeah, um, I, because normal meteor, normal meteor could be stopped by the government. I mean, come on, that's boring. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna take the trait because it's the one that kept popping up. We'll find out. Okay. I'm ahead of the game. So yeah, I'll pick a trait first for your blood type, and once everyone does that, let me know. I'll tell you what to pick. I one did it. Best. I love how this I love how this generator helps. Yeah. I got my traits in place, so Okay. Anyone still working on it? I'm almost done. I'm yeah, almost I'm not. I just I just need to choose one uh, depending on the uh Junishi. Okay, I think I've written down all my traits for that. So Okay. So some of you are saying you got all the all the traits. You pick a trait based on blood type, Junishi, the Godai. Uh, then there's another list for friends and family, and another list for hobbies. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not entirely sure what everyone's progress is. Like some of you are saying. I you need a all hobby. Them. Okay. I need a hobby. That's the one I need. I'm good to go. Hobby traits are on page twenty. I guess this is where you have the most freedom. Yeah, there's not a lot of good options, or not a lot of options at all yeah. there. So just kind of just try and think of freedom. something, make something up, I guess. Future yeah. of mine. I was, I was going. To, I'm taking care of the school bunny hutch, but I'm, since it's the future, we're going to go with Xeno bunnies. Nice. <laughs> Xeno bunnies. Um. Let's see. Oh my God, this is perfect. And one is for friends and family, and the last one is for what? Your hobby. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hobby. And I need to pick a hobby. Take all the traits I have to just. Have a cool. All right, my hobby trait is collects figurines of a popular three VO show. <laughs> nice. <gasps> the rarest of hobbies. Okay. And I levitate them around because I'm psychic. Yeah. <laughs> you make them play with, maybe you even make them have little voices. I guess the future, mm -hmm. maybe you like have computer chips in them and they just say things. <laughs> Is there like hard AI that fits on a little computer chip you can put in your little dolls? Oh, that's a good question. I, I just imagine like it projects like a little hologram of it going like back and forth real fast. Going. There's definitely like some kind of hologram that makes explosions happen. So you okay, just I don't know what my character easily. became. Holy shit, this is amazing. All right. Okay. Uh, so everybody done uh, with traits? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we should have six traits, right? We should have five, I think. Let me check that again. Five. Oh, yeah, it, is, it is five. five. It just it is five. It is yeah. five. It just wrapped around in a weird way. It looked okay. like there was another one, but one of them's just really, really long. Nice. All right. So now it's time. Wait, to I only have three. What are we? Okay. Uh, let me. Go. Who only has three? I do. Okay. You need to pick. I one. took. I took one from Junichi, one from uh, Blood Type, and one from my Godai. Okay. Go to page. 19. Okay. Uh, there's traits based on friends and family. Okay, gotcha. I'll take care of all that. And then there's traits based on hobbies. Yeah, the hobbies. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, next is to pick best friend and rival. Uh, best friend is who will describe the results of a successful dice roll. And rival is who will describe the results of a failed dice roll. 
But I think before I can pick mm -hmm. this, we need to know who everybody is. So I'd like if we just went around and everyone just said something short about their character. Um, anyone want to go first? Or should I just... So we, we're going to say uh, our names and our our traits? Like, how? Like what do you want us to say? Just say something like fictionally about your character. Like, uh, just make something up. Like, what do you think is the most important thing to say about your character? Okay. Uh, I'll go first. Um, I'm Ito Sukiko. Um, and she's a, a very quiet girl um, that uh, plays um, a... Uh, is often found um, playing a koto, which is a stringed kind of harp-like instrument. Mm -hmm. um, in her free time, she does that more often than she does socialize with anybody else. Um, other than that, it's she's not really the top of the class, but she's not really a slacker. Um, but she's just kind of that quiet, odd person that uh, everybody sees. Cool. Hi, uh, Mustachio, you want to go next? Yeah. Uh, I've got uh, Tanaka Kumiko. Uh, she's the kind of class airhead that nobody uh, expects too much of, um, but she's really, uh, really into her friends and family, and uh, has a bunch of like very like lighthearted and kind traits, uh, such that she takes care of the school bunnies, or Zeno bunnies in this case. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Dark Lavender Void, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just finished. Sure. So what do you want me? You want me to say my traits, or just uh, tell us your name and tell us, you know, something you think is important about your character. Okay. Um, she's Oki Kai, and she's like this sort of more like active, sort of violent character, but she surrounds herself with like a bunch of like nerds and softies. So she isn't like a part of the bully clique or the popular girls. She's just like violent herself and she stands up for what she believes in and stuff like that. Cool. All right, uh, Epirogeny. Okay. Sure. Your character. So Yamada Aneko is the head of the robotics club. Okay. She likes to ride her bike and she's uh, She's the calm, like, she's this calm person with a very authoritative, like, uh, air around her. Like, you know, she's, she never raises her, her voice because she has enough charisma that she, uh, charisma that she does, does not need to. Like, when she talks, people listen. And uh, she likes to ride. Her, she likes to ride her bike, and uh, she has a very, very demanding parent. Nice. Hmm. Oh, and she's known that, uh, like from trade, she has never had an embarrassing outburst. <laughs> That'll change. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the yeah. avatar. How about you? Oh, Sat Makoto. She is a she is a popular girl. She is a she is a star at the drama club. She is she is desirable. She is hot and boy, she's do anything to please her parents who wants her to become famous, rich and being rich that means get out of the hole they are living right now. So they are investing at her looks, not her brain, but that's fine. She's that girl is a, it's a diva. She's a prima donna. She wants to be a star, and she loves it. She she loves it. Cool, great. And last but not least, Eric. Uh yeah. So my character's name is uh, Higa Yui, and uh, I think for Yui, um, she's she's cute, but she's not she's not hot like uh, Mojachuku. Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name? Uh, you you. Yeah, Avatar. Makoto. Yeah, Matoko. Um, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, sorry. Um, yeah. So, 
Uh, I'm, I'm cute, right? But I'm, I'm like uh, nerdy glasses cute. Like if you took my glasses off in a romantic comedy, I'd be attractive. You know how that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of right. Uh, right. Um, and uh, I'm very passionate and opinionated about the environment and like our CO2 levels at our space camp. And I'm always dreaming of different, like, I'm running, like, fundraisers and trying to do a bunch of different, like, little tiny projects and harebrained schemes, uh, trying to um, bring attention to, like, you know, the, the endangered um, forest might or, you know, whatever. Uh, very much, like, involved in the um, nature preservation uh, club. I guess that's cool. Uh, very, like, nerdy. Uh, very, like, fire brandy opinionated, though. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's not that I'm not friendly with other people. Um, it's just that I'm very passionate about what I do, and I'm very, like, you know, I probably put off a lot of people, I put a lot of people off with my passion and opinionated ideas. <laughs> cool. cool. All right, so now I have an idea of who everybody is. Uh, it's time to pick best friends and rivals. Now, let me just check to see if there's a system for this. Who, who goes first? Um... All right, there's not a system. So what we're going to do is I want everyone to roll a D1000. <laughs> and we'll just go okay. in order of that. Uh, somebody is going to get oh. screwed and not oh. have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Are we going are we to uh, are, are do it... Um, uh, <laughs> Catan style, where everyone chooses their best friend, and then you go backwards, and everyone chooses their rival. Yep, we could. That would be fine. So let me do this here. <laughs> I want to put the dice rolls on the stream because they're hilarious. All right. <laughs> yeah. They are pretty hilarious. I think everyone should put the. Characters' names, so they are next to the roles. Yeah, if you would uh, change that. your character yeah. name, that's I mean, great. that that could be that could be better better for like keeping track of who's who. All right. Because with only one monitor, I cannot open this it. many character sheets. Right. To look at at the same time. I forgot about. Something so simple as putting the dice on the string. I forgot about. But that's okay. So let's see here. We'll go them. from highest to lowest. So just let me see here. It goes Eric, Matthew, Eric, Matthew. Um, Elsa. Okay, I have a question. I Yes. Because it was hard to focus while choosing my own stuff. Uh, who has the highest fire from all of you? Probably me. Is yours not five? me? Like, is any, mine's does, a five. Anyone, does anyone have a fire as a main stuff? Dark Lavender does. Slash. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Kai has has it right. Is that okay. what you just said? Yep. Okay, I heard you right. Great. My fire is a five. Alright. Cool. Mine is one. Yeah. I fire two. So let's do best friends first, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I'll let you pick. You can pick to either do your best friend first or your rival first. I think that's I think fine. it would be better if we... Okay. I guess then I go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eric. I'm going to pick first. my best friend. Okay. Um, does it have to be a player character? It has to be a player character, right? It has to be a player character. Yes. Yep. Cool. Yep. Um, uh, Hito. Uh, Sukiko. So, Kalsa. Okay. All right. Sukiko. Sukiko. Like this. Okay, now, um, Mustachio, you pick next. Uh, I'm gonna pick, uh, uh, Okikai, uh, uh Dark Lavender's here. Nice. As your best friend? Yep. Alright. I feel like she gets dragged along on like the fiery adventures of... 
think of advice in men. <laughs> 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 not not that not that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, yeah, the tower you put next. I seem thinking, but um, Eric, what is your character name actually? Higa, Yui. So her her first name is Yui. Okay. Yui. Yui. Okay. Okay. Ooh, and just to make it clear, if you're someone's best friend and they're you're not their best friend, that's totally a thing. Yeah. You're not necessarily. That's everybody. Happens. Everybody can be each other's best friend. Like everybody can have the same okay. person as their best friend if they want to. Yeah. But you uh, cannot. Whoever is your best friend, you cannot choose them to also be your best friend. No, you mm -hmm. can do that. Also, having one person. No, that's what it says. It says. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Da -da -da -da. No frenzies back. Uh, your admiration or dislike of the other student. Oh, oh, you can. Okay, you just totally don't have to. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I thought that you couldn't, but yeah. it's that you don't have to. That's fine. The only rule I'm going to have is that nobody can have more than two incoming connections, because that 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 keeps uh, people from like um, <clears throat> one person just describing the whole game. That's not cool. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then Elsa. we have a GM after all. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Who do I want to be my best friend? Eric, do you want to be my best friend? Yeah, we want to be best friend team. Yes, team best friend. I'm, not, I'm down. All right, best hey. friend team. Awesome. All right, Yui. It's Adam's turn, huh? I'm also going to pick Yui as my best friend, cause you can't. He just put a kibosh on that. Yeah, don't have everybody be the Twitter's best friend. Uh, so two people have picked Yui now, so Yui is off of this. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, you know, if you guys are okay with like Eric to... doing all the describing, then I guess. <laughs> Sure. Is Eric okay with Eric doing all of the describing being sick? Uh, <laughs> not really, but okay. <laughs> so let's keep my role. the funny thing because if you are a best friend, you are describing the uh, positive. Yeah, thing. we're, we're gonna keep my house rule. No more more connections. Nice. So yeah, pick someone That's else. Fine. Yeah, I don't care. Someone else and me, me, pick me. <laughs> and no loading. Uh, I'm going with uh, Kumiko. Okay. Hooray. Best friend team number two. Um, I guess it's up to Aparajani. Who is your best friend? I. Who do I want? Oh my gosh. Sato Makoto is my best friend. Okay. Okay. Uh, you said we're going to do it reverse, so Eparajani, now you pick your rival? Uh, my rival, I definitely my rival to, uh, want to, my rival to be uh, Yui. Because okay. I really want... Alright, we'll finish This, this up. is kind of so, This Wait, is really meta from me. You want to be a best friend and rival? Oh. <laughs> oh no no no! Wait no! You pick you pick Matoko as best friend. That's right. Yes, and I picked okay. you as my rival. All right. All she right, has so. my coat to protect her. Oh wait! You can't actually pick Eric because he already has two connections. 
I can't as my rival. Right. You need to pick someone who doesn't have two connections. Oh. Uh, I really wanted Eric to describe the bad thing <laughs> that happened to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was the meta thing. Uh, just, Kelsa, do you have two connections? No. Not yet. Okay. So. No, Kelsa does. You are her second right. connection. All right. So, uh, okay, so Dark, rival, I guess. Who do you want to be your rival? Uh, so I'm looking at it, and I think um, I think Oki would be a good rival. No, not you. Don't you pick last? Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Poppy. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, the Stark Lavender voice voice turn. Sure. Um, I'm gonna pick my rival to be um, Tsukiko. Uh, you can't, because she already has two connections. Okay. If you look at row 20, I'm actually drawing arrows. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not I all it. of them are... Not uh, all I, them. I, I oh, do. Okay. So I, I see it on stream. Oh, okay. Hold on yeah, some of them are showing on stream see. that are not showing on row 20 for some reason. Uh, what? I can see all of them. I don't know. Oh, because... The one... From Kumiko to okay, Okai now I can see it. is not showing up. Okay. Okay. Let me Window. just check the. Uh... Get out of the way. Oh, I don't yeah, I'm on the GM layer. I'm checking. It shouldn't be. They are not on GM layer. And they are not on the map layer. They're mm. all on the object layer. Yeah, I can, I can see I'm it. Seeing seeing it. it. Yeah, no. I can see it. I can see it now. Yeah. I think maybe you need to refresh. I think Roll20 is spazzing. Yeah, yeah, if you don't see him. Sorry. That's, that's possible. Let's see or something. Right. So, who can I choose to be my rival? Everyone except for Eric and Kelso. Okay. Um... And I already picked Kumiko as my best friend, so mm -hmm. she can also. Uh, let's rival. go with Makoto as my um, rival. Okay. Side of Makoto. Gotcha. Okay. Now it is up to Elsa to pick her rival. Okay, uh, I want my rival to be um, Aniko, and we'll have a I'll have a, a best friend match and a rival match because that seems like a fun. Nice. Plus, I was gonna pick you to be my rival anyway, <laughs> just because I was interested to see how you were gonna mess up my life. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, EA Avatar, your rival. Okay. Okay. Another pair. You know she's she's too violent, and we never ever <laughs> had chance to to let her don't punch me. All right. Sounds like some serious business. Um, yes, there are a lot of bad blood. This would be this is a dumb question. I know it's I know it's not my turn yet, but um, who would be most opposed to the environment? <laughs> <laughs> not me, because I go on camping trips all the time. It's bad to my reputation to go against the environment. Um. Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I actually, I'm not gonna get a choice. You anyways. literally do not have a choice. I'm sorry. Never mind. That was, that was. <laughs> well, whoever's my rival is somebody who hates the environment for some reason, or at least I think you do. Yeah. So. Um, mustachio. Yeah, I don't have a choice either because I've got. I have to go with uh, Aniko. I think we have two people. 
No, because I'm friends with. Okay. Uh, Oki Kai, so I, I can only pick Aniko. All right. And then that leaves whoever's last for Eric. And I believe that's Mustachio. Um, he can also. Yeah, yeah, it'd have to be me. <laughs> Even though I'm the bunny hutch, like person. Maybe, know, maybe, uh... maybe the Xena bunny. Xena bunnies are, are an invasive species. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's I actually a thing. Right? They're taking, Poor they're taking our, our colony's jobs or something. <laughs> Zeno bunnies. Like yeah, but how, how, how ethically... You, you keep them, though, in hutches. You don't let them, like, free range. Uh, you know, we get to every once in a while. She's airheaded. It happens. Oh, that bunnies are so delicious. Or I could mm. be wrong. Like, maybe I'm misguided and think you're, like, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's actually a thing, like, my sister used to r raise bunnies, and it's surprising how many people are against raising livestock, or even pets. Um, yeah, maybe you're like, free the bunnies! <laughs> this yeah. relationship map got really, um, to follow right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I think I'm probably more about, um, natural spaces than I am about animals. So it's probably something else. But whatever. We'll figure it out and play. Right. <laughs> sure. Alright, so the next thing to do is pick agendas. Uh, the agenda list is pretty huge. Uh, it starts on page 23 and it goes on for several pages. Page 26. Uh, if The thing about agendas is agendas are where the demon gets their power. Uh, these unresolved things in your life is what the demon draws its energy from. And completing these agendas is the only way to defeat the demon. So keep that in mind when you pick these. Um, it, it doesn't have to be on this list. It just has to be something, some goal for your character that you can try and accomplish. Um, the agendas also control like how long the game lasts, so we're all only going to pick one agenda. Okay. And yeah, you can totally like roll a random number if you want to. There are fifty-two of them. I almost got the one I got last time. I was one away from getting Ching wants to change her hair color again. <laughs> that didn't happen last time because we were just like, we changed reality so that um, your hair was always the base this color, so yeah. you didn't technically change it. So, um, nah, nah. You, can't change, hair, hair. you oh. can't change your hair to blue, but it's always been blue. It's always been blue. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I gotta ask, is Dark uh, Lavender, are you okay with me wanting to reveal my crush on my, on my best friend? Yes. The Yuri love situation going on here? Also, mm -hmm. um, these are secrets. Oh, uh, damn it. But you must reveal now. one of your agendas to your best friend. Ah. Um, they'll be on your character sheet. So if people look at your character sheet, they'll see it. So just mm. don't do that. I will, I will select something else then. No, you, you can go with that. That's fine. It doesn't have to be secret. Just that you may keep it secret if you wish. Ah. I, oh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that that was... Sure. And um, I guess we should talk, like, if there's anything that happens in this game that you don't like, uh, the X card is available. Uh, do we all know what the X card is? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. If you're ever uncomfortable with something that's happening in the game, uh, just, you know, say, I'm going to X card this, and we will end the scene right there, and we will not talk about it, and we'll try and avoid whatever happened. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, so when everybody has their agenda, just let me know. I got mine. I got one. 
I did it. Four people. Two more people? Anybody still working on it? I'm still working on it. Okay. I rolled a die, but then I didn't choose that one. <laughs> it's hard to find an agenda that will, like, make sense to my character right now. I think I need a little slightly more fluffy bunny character, uh, character icon, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Okay, I got one. So do we just send them to you on Skype? I'll uh, just write down your character sheet. Okay. Right. You can look at our each other character sheet. Just zone out when it comes to agenda. Like, forget it. <laughs> All right. So I think everybody has their agenda now. Um, so this next part is we choose who is the most popular. Um, and who is the least popular, I think? Let me find this. The psychics are always the least popular. No, they're not. They just can't be the most popular. Um, take a minus one, the popular. 3.1 is popularity votes. All right. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. The voting should be done secret. Each player should write down the names of the player controlled student they want to see as the most popular and least popular and hand them to the superintendent. The student with the most popular votes gains the title most popular and obviously the same with the least so, popular. GM whisper? Uh, message I'll just me send it to on you on Skype, Skype, please. In case of a tie, the superintendent may vote. Unless the tie is between a psychic and a non-psychic, at which point higher forms of popularity always favor the non-psychic. It's important to note that popular votes don't actually happen within the game. The students never sit down for a formal vote unless your characters are just that heady. Instead, these votes <laughs> represent the general moods and affection of the students. Psychic girls are creepy and moody, and even the nicest ones are unsettling to be around. Because of this, a psychic student can never be voted most popular. All right. So I'm going to tally these votes as they come in in Excel. Because that's what Excel is for. I mean, that's what the U.S. elections do, so that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> um, make sure when you message me, you tell me if it is most popular or least popular. Can we vote for ourselves? There's no rule against that that I oh. saw. Okay. But if you do, like, what is wrong with you, Ed? Wait, can I change my vote then? Fine. <laughs> I guess you can before he gets all the whole. Dang it. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's water. Oh, and we'll take a Did break you... after this. Sorry, guys. I forgot I to take a break. I just spilled water over myself. Messy, messy. I know. Classic Eric. Old, old sick Eric is what they call me. <laughs> this is water. I guess since we started late, technically this is an hour. So. Mm hmm. After we do this, actually, once you've typed in what you want, you can just go on a break. And then I'll tabulate votes. Cool. Okay. Yeah, because it's pretty much like in an hour, I'll drink an entire thing of this and a cup of tea. And so I gotta go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Actually, I should probably go as well. You got my vote, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, I sent. So we are revealing votes after the break? Yeah, I'll tabulate them, and when you guys come back, I'll tell you who won. Okay, be right back. I'm just waiting for one person's votes. Uh, 
uh, you have a tower. I think I'm waiting for your horse. Oh, you messaged me in 020. Gotcha. Yeah, my Skype is acting very, very odd. That's fine. I just wasn't expecting it. Like, I'm mean, keeping the, the client open and the Skype on, on web open at the same time because some talks happen at the web but don't happen at this client and vice versa. No, I understand. All right, I'm going to go on break and then when we come back, I'll tell you who won. Okay. <laughs>